exciting news. We're doing a video on the Expo too. Billy, that's, that's not what we're doing. Hey, I'm Billy. And I'm Francis. And, and we're the Fuji, Fuji guys. guys. So today, Billy, we're actually going to talk about the brand new X-Pro 3. Really? Yeah. Not the X-Pro 2? No. I'm out of here. Okay, bye. Yeah, so we're going to take a look at the brand new Fujifilm X-Pro 3 camera. We're going to take it around Toronto and take some pictures, do a little bit of street photography, and then we'll check out some brand new features that this camera offers. So the X-Pro3 is offered as a body only, and it comes in three different finishes, which are all made of titanium. You got the matte black that you know from the X-Pro2, and you got the two special finishes, which are Dura Silver and Dura Black. What's special about them is that they're scratch resistant, so if you put in day in, day out in your bag, you won't get them scratched so easily. So it uses the same sensor and processor as the X-T3, so we're not really going to concentrate on this in this video. Although the design concept of the Expo 3 is about being about pure photography, you still have some customizability. You have six function buttons that can be fully customized. You also have four touch functions if you wanted to uh, increase that number. Once you have this camera set up to the way you like, really you don't need to access anything more than that. The appeal of the Fujifilm cameras, of course, is all about the dials. It does give you this tactile feel that gives you a more immense feeling of you know, getting into photography itself. Aperture is controlled through the aperture ring on most of our XF lenses. The shutter speed down on the top of this camera goes up to 1 8,000th of a second. You still have that ISO control within the shutter speed dial, so just pulling up and twisting allows you to quickly change the ISO settings on this camera. In addition to that, you also have a C dial position on it so that you can use the front or the rear command dial to quickly adjust ISO if you prefer. Like with most mirrorless cameras, I prefer shooting an aperture priority. It allows me to really focus on the subject and capture that subject in the moment. I use the uh, exposure dial, which is still here, uh, to allow me to shift the exposure brighter or darker. There's also a C position dial as well, so that you, again, you can use the command dials to adjust the uh, exposure compensation as you wish. So one change that is very important for me is the fact that the opening for the viewfinder is much bigger so it's much easier to see inside the viewfinder and it's a 0.5 times magnification with a 3.69 million dot display so very high resolution whenever you look through that viewfinder. Now of course you still have the OVF which still features your frame lines and overlays with all the information you need and also you still get the very nice electronic rangefinder at the bottom right corner. On the side of the camera, you still have the dual slot cards. They do support ultra high speed too on both slots now. So again, if you're shooting raw and JPEG, you can have one recording to one card and the other, or you can have a, a perfect backup between the two cards themselves. Now, if you're into video, uh, you do have a 2.5 millimeter uh, microphone port. It also doubles up as a cable release port as well. In addition to that, it is a USB-C connection. And if, again, you're doing video, you can double that USB-C connection to uh, monitor audio with a headphone adapter. Uh, you also have the ability to, of course, uh, quickly transfer images uh, using the built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module, again, found on the majority of the Fujifilm cameras. Now, if you don't like wi wireless uh, transfer, with most Fujifilm uh, cameras that have USB-C connections, you can buy an OTG cable, connect that to the camera, and then connect your USB cable to your phone, and actually transfer images up to eight times faster. So if you're transferring large file size, whether it be 4K video footage, or even raw files to your iPad or your tablet or your phone, you know, this is a really great feature to look at. So of course one thing that's unique with the X-Pro series is the hybrid viewfinder. So the reason it took so long to come out with the X-Pro3 was actually we needed to develop that technology to bring up the quality of that EVF inside the hybrid viewfinder. 
So it features a brand new panel, which is OLED display and has a higher contrast and a wider color space. So you can get very accurate and vivid colors when you shoot through the viewfinder. So the concept of the LCD on the X-Pro to me is very neat because it's a hidden LCD that rotates and flips down like this. So I really like the idea of the shooting experience where it's very close to film, where you can just go and shoot and you don't have to chimp, but I wouldn't really want it to be gone completely. So I have that choice. And at the same time, it doubles as a waist level finder whenever I need to shoot discreetly in the streets. And on the back of that, you do get that sub monitor, which to be honest, looks very nice, but it's also very useful because you get, you get a quick glance at the film simulation you have, the ISO you're at, but you can also turn it into a screen just like you would find on the X-H1, for example, where you can have all your settings and customize it. So one thing to note is that this back uh, LCD display is a color memory display, so it's not backlit. So that won't take any batteries at all, really. It will stay up whenever the battery is powered down. Uh, but one thing to note is that if you're inside and you don't have a lot of light coming to it, it might be a little bit more dimmer, which is not a bad thing because when you shoot, you won't get distracted by the screen in your face. So one of the new changes on the Expo 3 is the Q menu. There is some customizability on that now. Uh, you have options to display four items, eight items, 12 items, or even 16 items in the menu. In addition to that as well, you can choose from a, a black background or even a transparent background so that when you are changing quick settings uh, through that Q menu, you still see the scene that you're looking at. Some of you might be rejoicing with this new added feature called the AF range limiter. For street photography, it's really the ideal quick access to limiting the focus distance between uh, you and the subject. You have the options for custom settings, which you can set the distance. You also have two presets that are set from two meters to infinity, as well as five meters to infinity. Now this camera is about peer photography, and I'm happy to say as well that the multi-exposure is now officially called multi-exposure. You can actually shoot up to nine frames, and from those options, you can have different blending options like additive, average, bright, and dark. So it's gonna make you a little bit more creative right out of the camera. Although Fujifilm offers over 29 native lens, like me, you might tinker with some legacy lenses that are fully manual. It really changes the shooting experience. And one of the new features on this camera is that it allows you to actually name that lens. That information is actually gonna be embedded into the EXIF data and it's gonna be shown when you have it downloaded to your computer. So a new feature that's been added and that will be welcomed by everybody, I'm pretty sure, is the addition of the brand new film simulation called Classic Negative, which is based on Superior 100. And that gives you a very nice, nostalgic look to your pictures and I think it's very well fitting with this camera. Shooting out in the street, the colors are just amazing. As a matter of fact, we're filming with that film simulation right now. So in addition to that, you get new features to allow for more creative control over your image. Things like clarity, for example. You get a new UI, whenever you play with the tone curve, you actually see your curve moving. So that gives you a visual representation of what you will get. And in addition to that, you also get some things like color chrome effect blue, things like that, that are very nice to really get creative with your images. And if you're into Acros as well, you get a new feature which is called monochromatic color, where you can tint your monochrome image to a different color to create and set a mood. Now, I know this camera wasn't really designed with video in mind, it's not really aimed towards that type of shooter, but if you're like me and you enjoy both taking pictures and videos, uh, I think, you know, you can do pretty nice things with it. It features 4K video up to 30 frames per second. You got that brand new film simulation, which we're filming right now with, and you still got F-Log and all the, you know, useful features you would need. You still have a mic jack on the side, which is 2.5 millimeter, and you can monitor your audio using the USB-C port. So really, 
Yeah, it's not aimed at video, but it can do it. And as a matter of fact, the video we made with Patrick LaRock for the X-Pro3, I shot it entirely with this camera. So yeah, it's very capable. That was quite an interesting experience for me. It did take me out of my comfort zone. Again, I prefer to shoot portraits and people. So shooting street photography scenes are a little bit more difficult for me. I think this camera does slow you down and it's quite an interesting experience. I think everyone should try it. What about you? Well, to me, to be honest, this is the, the camera I've been waiting for. I always loved the X-Pro line. Uh, to me, the only kind of thing was the, the, the EVF and the OVF was a little bit too small. But now with this camera, I feel right at home and I feel like I'm gonna use the hell out of this camera for sure. Well, that's great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna learn more about this and other Fujifilm products, again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram as well as our Facebook page. Until then, I'm Billy. And I'm Francis. And we're the Fuji Guys. Guys.